On January 18, 2023, I edited my first video for a client whom I charged a whopping $15 and it took me two weeks to complete that project. Why? Because of multiple revisions, self-doubt and my lack of experience in handling client expectations. Fast forward to today, I have worked with over 200 creators and businesses, some of them who have thousands or millions of subscribers who I'm still working with today. But the best part for me is that I went from charging $15 for my edit to charging thousands of dollars for my services. Beyond that, I've also built a personal brand with over 13,000 followers that helps me generate all my inbound leads. But what if I had to start all over again from zero with no prior clients, no reputation, but with all the knowledge and experience I have gathered over the past three years. And in these past three years, I had to go through multiple failures, experiments and breakthroughs to achieve these results. So that is why in this video, I'll be telling you the exact step by step process that I would take so you can achieve the same results that I have in 10 times less time than me. So the first step is choosing the right software. One of the biggest mistakes that beginner video editors make is that they start their freelance video editing journey by using CapCut or even mobile video editing apps. The thing is, if you're serious about making video editing your professional and getting high ticket clients using it, the clients that have millions of subscribers and that are looking for professional work, they will require editors to not use CapCut due to its limited capabilities. And that is why if I had to start all over again my freelance video editing journey, I would only go with two softwares to start my freelance video editing career and that would be Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. This is because they are the most in-demand softwares in the editing industry and I have been personally using this combination for more than over three years now. This is because it allows me to create high quality professional level edits that businesses and content creators are willing to pay for. But yes, what should be the next step after it? That is really key. Now the next step is the one which I have not done and this is the reason which exactly costed me a lot of time. But I'll be telling you guys to do it and that is step 2 mastering the software first instead of focusing on making money. This mistake is probably the difference between a $300 editor and a $2000 editor because I know I have done the same mistake as well. Once you have chosen the right softwares, your next step should be to get really good at it. Because yes, you might start getting paid collaborations once you got a decent skill set. But the thing is that if you won't put in time to learn new things and get better in your craft, your income will be stuck at the same revenue. Here's how I would invest my time in mastering Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. First, I would start by watching free tutorials on YouTube. This is because there are thousands of them and they can help you learn new things about the software very quickly. You can check out editing channels such as Maypal, Nico Editing, Arsach, and UAR7. But next one is not talked about much, but joining paid communities can really help you in enhancing your skill set. You will get a lot of great courses, get to connect with like-minded individuals, and even people are getting clients from these communities itself. Now next, I would focus on learning storytelling while editing my videos instead of making it look flashy. The reason is because while I was working with these big clients, I have noticed that they focus really hard on the storytelling of their videos. This is because it enhances the retention of the video and that is exactly what gets them more views. You need to remember that the competition is really high, but yes, the rewards are even higher for those who stay ahead of the curve. Step 3. Better editing is not equal to more money. You might think that these top tier video editors are making 4 figures or even 5 figures per month just because they are good at their skill. But that is absolutely wrong. Yes, the skill is important, but it's just one part of the equation. In my opinion, the metrics which I'm going to be talking about next are even more important. First is clear communication. Always be professional and focus on giving updates to your clients regularly. This is because ghosting your client after they have given you the project is something which they do not appreciate. Next is focus on under-promising and over-delivering. It is really important to set realistic expectations and then exceed them because this will really help in keeping the client more satisfied. Next, learn how to market yourself. The thing is that your skills are useless if no one knows about them. This is why there are high skill editors in the market working for absolute peanuts just because they do not know how to present themselves. Meanwhile, there are some editors with bang average skill set charging premium rates just because they understand positioning and branding. And that is exactly what I'm going to be covering next. Step 4. How to get your first client from scratch This is where most people fail. They spend months trying to find a client. They use freelance platforms such as Upwork and Fiverr solely for their client acquisition and let me tell you, I was one of them. But after 3 years of finding out what works and what does not, what I'm going to be telling you next is the best way which I have found to get your first client. First, identify creators or businesses whom you can genuinely help and improve their videos. Next, re-edit a short 1 minute clip of their video to improve its quality and show them how exactly you can improve their videos. After that, upload the video which you have created on Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. And once you've done that, send it to them on Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn with a short and clear message. The reason why this works for me is because first, it helps me get more inbound leads. Like this specific video which I posted got me 2 inbound leads that were interested in my services. Second, when you focus on value upfront, it helps you stand out from the rest of the competition. And this is how clearly the prospect can see the value which you provide with your skill. 
and yes if they do see the value then it just does not make sense for them to not collaborate with you and due to the outrage saturation i blame the cap traders for that the value upfront has become a must if you do not provide immediate value you will be ignored like the other 100 messages in their inbox and i'm telling you this with my experience after sending more than 1300 dms and not even closing one meeting if you want to check the exact outreach message which i actually sent to that client you can check out in the description of the video the link will be available now once you've worked with few clients build some case study now it's time to scale your business using your personal brand Step 5 How to build and grow your personal brand to scale your business Everyone talks about scaling your personal brand but is it really necessary? I feel that yes, absolutely. If I were to start over, here's what I have done in 2025. First, create professional profiles on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn because this is where most of your clients will be looking at your content. Next, use a clean profile picture and a clear and concise bio, clearly describing about what you do and what results you have achieved to build social proof. But yes, if you're starting out, no worries, you can keep it simple. Next, try to post regular content, share your edits, share your experiences, your journey along the way. And then last, engage with others. Comment on their posts. This will help you build more connections. And these connections will exactly help you get more interaction on your posts as well. This might seem very slow at the beginning, but yes. Within a few months of time, your brand will start attracting high quality clients organically. Now, if you're thinking that video editing is saturated and you're not sure to pursue it for future, then let me tell you that the demand is growing rapidly just because creators are focusing really hard on their personal brands. So that is why I created this video because I noticed that there was not a step-by-step -step roadmap available for editors. Now, yes, thank you for watching this video and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so I can create more videos like this and yeah. For now I have uploaded this very cool video editing tutorial along with the free project file that you can use and yeah, hopefully you can check that out.